What's good? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back with Beaker and Lulu and Melly. I don't know where Melly is. He's over there somewhere. Guys, we're back here today for another sneak peek for the spring 2021 updating clash. Guys, we have had a bunch of stuff so far, this high level stuff, right? And that's kind of common. We get a lot of high level stuff and the low level people are stuck being like, yeah, like what do we get? And I mean, usually guys, that's what happens. It happens almost every single time. But today guys, we got something that is specifically for basically every lower level town hall. You guys want to go check it out? So we're in the dev build today. We can do whatever we want. Get your shades on, get your shoes off. Guys, we got to go back to the lower level town hall so we can activate this stuff. Uh, by town hall 14, it's been fun. All right, guys, we're going to go down in town halls right now. We're going down to basically the beginning of the game. We're going to show you guys where this all starts. There's going to be cheaper upgrades, faster upgrades. There's even going to be a free to play sort of version of the goal pass. Such a good idea, dude. Because sneak peek day begins in three, two, one. All right, guys. So here we are back at the beginning of the game. We have, we're in the dev build again. We can do whatever we want if we want to go back to the beginning. So we're here at what is this, Tunnel 3? What we're looking for here is something called starter challenges. Now you can see it in the bottom there. That's not the gold pass. That's not the silver pass. This is different, guys. It's tailored for the lower level town halls, trying to get you up to, you know, town hall nine, town hall 10, you know, the big leagues as fast as possible. Because I think, dude, that's that's where Clash is now. Like you can be at any town hall and have fun, but I think it starts to really become what modern Clash is at, you know, town hall nine, town hall 10, town 11 and above. Guys, let's check it out. Yo, so it's just like a mini gold pass. Okay, so it's free. Dude, this is what I've been wanting for so long. A free gold pass. For I mean, it's it's like a free silver pass, right? So there's no option. Like, you don't have to pay to get anything better. I kind of like this, dude. So guys, just like the season passes now, the season challenges for the gold pass and the silver pass, this is the same thing. You got a ton of challenges. And by the way, it just completed a bunch of them for me that were just like, claim some achievements, get some gold, get some elixir, use some archers. Dude, this is really cool. So this is a given. They should have had this in the game forever because every single game you play that has any form of multiplayer, they tend to do something like this to get you logging on every day and to get you progressing faster. This is kind of sick, dude. It's a free gold pass. The more I look at it, like it's a free gold pass. Let me look in the rewards. I just want to go up higher and see what, like what kind of stuff do we have down here at the end? Dude, 100,000 gold. That's pretty good when you're at a low town hall. Training potions. This is all really good. Down at the end here, you have a rune of gold. You have a book of building. That's the best stuff in here, clearly. Uh, rune of gold, actually, it depends on what level you are, right? I mean, the higher level you are, the better it is because you get more gold. But guys, this is good. Free stuff is always good. We're never going to, uh, we're never going to complain about free stuff, right? They're a new way for players between Town Hall 2 and Town Hall 6 to speed up their progress through a variety of challenges similar to the Silver and Gold Pass. That's what we thought. They are free to play challenges. I love that, dude. There is no top layer. There is no reason to pay. There is nothing to pay. It's just free stuff. And from what I've seen, guys, you can collect this stuff anytime from Town Hall 2 to Town Hall 6. And once you upgrade to Town Hall 7, it's going to collect everything for you and just move on. Pretty sick. Now, guys, when I first logged in today into the dev build here, it asked me if I still wanted to be uh, like available to be recruited. It was kind of cool. So I guess it's going to focus more on the recruitment because, guys, RIP Global. Like, Global's not here anymore. And I think a lot of people are still bummed about that, dude. I kind of am. I They need to add something in the game to replace Global, like an alliance chat or something to make that communication and recruitment easier. This is totally different, dude. I hope this helps because guys, as you know, a lot of you have trouble like building up a clan or finding the right clan sometimes because there's not as many options anymore. You almost got to go out of Clash or you got to meet people in Clash and like network that way. Uh, it was a lot easier to join a clan with Global. Whether or not you found a good clan, uh, that's besides the point, but this, I don't know, hopefully it helps. Hey guys, so there's a couple small changes that are not really gonna, I mean, they're, they're not even gonna really help or hurt anybody. They're just gonna kind of protect you from doing stupid stuff. You know when, you know, I don't do this very often, but when I'm doing a video sometimes, I gotta gem the troops because we're, we're trying to do an attack really quickly. It used to just do it. Now it's gonna ask you if you wanna do that stupid thing you're trying to do. So it's like, gives you a second to think about it. Do I really need 60 hogs this bad? The answer is yes, cool. 
All right, guys. So in the beginning, we looked at the starter challenges, and I think that's a good beginning, right? It's it's a good incremental small change to get people some more loot so they can get upgraded faster, so they can get to, you know, Tunnel 8, Tunnel 9, Tunnel 10 faster. But what happens when you get to Tunnel 10? You're still years away from being a max Town Hall 13 or even 14 when, you know, when that comes out in a couple days. So how do you help that? Guys, a bunch of stuff's gonna get cheaper. Now, every town hall from like, where, where is it? Guys, let me just put this up on the screen because you can't even, you can't even appreciate this until you see it. Every town hall from town hall four to town hall 12 is getting some sort of like reduction in cost. It's not gonna be big at every town hall, but it's really big in the middle at like town hall seven, eight, nine. That's where it's needed. Get through that faster. Guys, town hall nine takes forever normally, but this is gonna help a lot. It sounds like walls, buildings, heroes, everything is gonna be cheaper. But guys, you know what I'm most excited about? You're, if you guys have ever been Tunnel 10 or, or 11, any of those tunnels, you know the walls are the craziest thing. The walls and the heroes. You guys remember these walls? They used to be three million. Now they're two. Dude, that's huge. All right, guys, so I just upgraded the town hall. Let me go over here because I wanna show you guys this. Okay, these used to be three million, right? They were a million more. Done. And guys, these are the ones, we just did these like uh, in season two of Days Max. These were five million each. And I always thought it was so bizarre. It doesn't seem like a wall that you should be paying five million for. It just doesn't. It's four now, it's four. All right guys, so down at the bottom of the list here, it says the king skin, the default king skin for the Barb King has been given a polish. Yo, he actually does look different. I didn't even realize this at first. What? This is getting crazy, dude. The graphics of Clash are actually getting better and it's good. I mean, you should do that. I'm just surprised. I mean, it's it, this started out as like a phone game and I feel like they're going into something else. It's good. Yo, his eyes are kind of creepy, right? So guys, it looks like the only town hall that is not really gonna get anything different in, in you know, cost reduction is town 13. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, gang. Uh, look, if you're town hall 13, you're probably, uh, you're probably, Dude, I still cannot believe those walls are 7 million. I mean, I expected it, but 7 million. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. So guys, if you're currently Tunnel 13, try to get max as soon as you can because you should go to Tunnel 14. It's going to be sick. If you've got the bulk of your stuff done, you know, finish up a few things. Maybe it's time to go, dude. We'll see. So guys, in conclusion, today, everything in the sneak peek is basically just stuff that's trying to make the game easier in, in small but good ways, you know, whether it's recruiting or getting you leveled up faster when you get into the game, you know, your, your low level. And I mean, I consider like a low town hall at this point, it is like anything below level 10, anything below town hall 10, you know, they're trying to get you above that mark, that town hall nine, town hall 10 mark, so you can get into, you know, the town halls that take forever, forever. I mean, town hall 13, how long is it gonna take? It takes like it takes like 400 days or something. It's crazy. So this stuff, I, I think it has the curse of being not as exciting. When you look at it, you're like, oh, starter challenges, cool. Oh, uh, you know, a new recruitment uh, option. Okay, cool. But it is good, guys. It is good, especially the cost reduction stuff because if heroes and walls and really everything is cheaper, it's just good, dude. You don't have to farm as much or or rather you can farm just as much, but you can get more done with what you've got. It's it's perfect. Guys, the top town hall in Clash is always going to be overpriced and stupid, but that doesn't mean every other town hall has to be. I think, you know, especially those really low ones. It's good if we get them done fast. It's good if we move on to the next one. Eventually, you know, hopefully eventually get to town hall 14, get that jungle town hall. Uh, Village girl, you're just chilling in there, huh? What just happened? You guys see that? Lulu's chewing on the wall or something. Lulu, what are you doing, bud? Anyway, guys, that's it for today. We love you. Thank you for coming out. As always, let us know how you're doing in the comments below. Be sure to leave too for Lulu. Lulu, where are you going? You gonna stand on the iPad? You guys remember she used to do that all the time <laughs> at the old lab? Man, good times, Lulu. Good times. Anyway, we will see you guys right here tomorrow on the one and only Beakers Lab. Man, I hope we got more of this stuff. I mean, cool. We'll see you guys then. Peace.